Oh, I just love watching my young Gina play in the grass. Let's get to it. Wow, am I behind. I need to get into the field. The, the ground is still a little bit wet. Oh, man, I forgot to grab my coffee this morning. Man, I am going nuts. Let me get in here and get my coffee maker made. All right, I got my coffee. I think I can think straight now. So, I still have one more field to disc up with my old Alice Chalmers here. My 305 horse beast. Man, do I love how this thing pulls that disc. Barely feel that disc behind it. I just can't get over the double smoke stacks of this uh, engine. Such a beast. So, while uh, you guys, the last time I did end up planting my uh, one field over here with oats. My uh, far field, that's my little field, so I have a little bit of oats just in case I need some more feed. Or I could always harvest them and uh, sell that grain. My biggest issue is, is I got to get some corn in the ground. And I'm, I'm just scratching my head because I need road markers and I need to make them, but I just don't have time to make them right now. Uh, I'm going to have to get some angle iron, get some actuators, hoses, all that stuff. That stuff all takes time. Got to do a couple measurements. I, I just don't understand why somebody would sell a planter without row markers. I mean, how would anybody plant without row markers? I mean, that's the most common thing. Pretty sure when planters were made, they had some type of row markers. I'm not just going to plant my corn in uh, rolls that go, that wiggle through the field. So I just can't have that. My neighbors, I just can't take all the backlash my neighbors would give me. I mean, would you imagine if somebody built something that basically be able to show you where you need to plant? while you're inside the tractor cab and you wouldn't even have to use warm walkers. Grant has been on my case because you see them, that ball, my hitch ball, that is dry as a button right there. I mean, that, I mean, look at that. So he's been on my case because I do not grease my balls at all, at all. Uh, he says he has a ball greaser 1000. I think I'm a, I, I don't know some type of ball greaser he's gonna give me uh, to try out and uh, grease all my balls he says that it will extend my uh, hitches uh, on my trailers lifespan it will my trailers will pull better I, I, I don't know what he's talking about I've never heard of such thing but I'm gonna go down there because he says he's gonna give it to me i uh, just going to try it out. It's too wet for the field to get in the field right now anyway, so I figured we'd just run over there quick and see, go talk to him. Oh, come on, old. Yeah, there we go. Nothing runs like a Ford. Hmm. I wonder if there's a radio station on right now. See if I can get something on here. Hey y'all, this is Stevie O here, catching you on the radio. If you like what you're hearing, give it a big thumbs up. Smash that thumbs up button right there on the radio. Make sure you tell your friends. But most of all, thank you for listening. Alright, now we'll catch y'all later here. Now here's Alan Jackson for you. Gone Country. Man, that was a weird radio station. Let me turn that off. I, I, I don't know about that. I don't even know what that guy was talking about. So you did, you see right there, some of our fields are planted. So I custom... 
I had somebody basically plant that for me. Uh, I was just too nervous. I wanted something in the ground, so I ended up having that planted. I don't know. I mean, that might have been... I don't really want to do that with all my fields because I can't afford it, for one thing. Uh, I think this is a turn. Yeah. Kind of a windy road back here. But I don't... That cost me a lot of money. I am all over the road right now. Looks like, yeah, I think this is uh, old Farmer Grant's house up here on the hill. It's kind of a, kind of like that. He kind of overlooks us all, doesn't he? Kind of, it's like he's watching out for all of us. I don't know if that's creepy or kind of nice. I, I really didn't call and tell him that I'm coming up here, so uh, I hope he recognizes my truck and I don't get basically run out of here with a shotgun, but we will see if he's around. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I don't see anybody moving around in here. Yeah. I don't see much action going on here. Wow. Whoa. Man. This is a nice tractor right here. Ooh, man. Look at the options on this 44. 450. Man, is that a clean looking tractor. Wow, maybe I should just have Grant plant my fields. Look at him, man. He's got a big 12 row planter. Maybe I can ask him to borrow his planter. I don't know. But he still looks like he has some plant to do. Yeah. I don't know if he'd be up for that. He's probably waiting for it to get, uh, he's probably still waiting for it to get nice enough to get in the field, too. Man, should be later on today. I really like his tractor here. I'm a little tractor jealous of Grant. That is a nice 4450. Hmm. Ooh, got a big Massey. I don't know if I want to rock in that garage without Grant around. That's one heck of a footprint on them tires. Man, that is a big tractor. Just look how big that cab is. I'm not going to go in there. That, that's just unpolite. I'm going to go see, knock on his door. Grant, you around? Hey, Grant, are you in there? Uh, I don't know if he's around. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. Ooh, looky, he has a 4440 here, too. Hmm. A little sunshade on that. A little duels on the back. Woohoo! Grant got him a harvester. A little 8820, huh? A little six row head on there. A little grain extension. Ooh, man. That's nice. I know, I know I'm snooping. It's kind of rude of me to be doing this. I need to look for this uh, Ball Greaser 1000. I don't know. I don't know if I can find it, but I feel kind of bad because Grant isn't around. Don't think I should be on his land. I mean, I, I don't know. If he shows up, man. You know, I heard he carries some pretty high-powered rifles in his uh, truck. So if he shows up, I'm a little nervous. I mean, I don't want somebody this close that lives, like, basically a couple miles from me hating me that much. I just can't stop looking at this tractor. 4450. Man, that's a good-looking tractor. I wouldn't mind having one of them. Wouldn't mind having that planner either, but, man. 
We need a planner bad. All right. Well, unfortunately, our uh, balls are going to stay dry for at least another day. Unless we can find Gran around here somewhere. I need to pick up a few supplies. I need to change the oil in the old uh, Ch Alice Chalmers or 300 horse workhorse. I want to do that before I get into disking in the field. So I'm going to get down there, go to tractor supply, get some of that stuff. Uh, yeah, pick up some supplies for the planter. Need some uh, hydraulic hoses. Uh, I need to look to see if they have an actuator that will work for that. And hopefully I can get that close to going so I can get in the planting some corn. Well, looks like uh, our fuel, I'm just going to top it off here, being I'm in town. And, you know, I don't know, I just want to talk to somebody. I mean, maybe somebody will be around here, shoot the bowl, you know, probably pick up another cup of coffee. You know that, the normal stuff. Man, they didn't even want to talk to me. Can you believe that? I mean, man, I at least, I put a couple gallons of gas in there and I got a little cup of coffee it's been almost two dollars total I mean come on I'm, I'm a good paying customer oh, well I guess I'll, I'll take my business somewhere else and kind of cold all right so we need to get over to tractor supply and I think uh, where is that oh I gotta drop off a few checks at the bank too, I forgot. Sorry, today's errand day. We'll run into the bank here quick, drop off our checks. And I was in there, they told me something about a new type of checkbook. Something about a plastic card and they think it's the future? I, I don't know. I think they're crazy. Uh, I, I don't know, man. That's a weird bank, but oh well. They still got my business, so. Alright, here's uh, Tractor Supply coming over here on the left. What do we have over in this John Deere dealership? You know what? I'm going to go over here. Just have to look at this. I think this is almost like, I think this is another 50 series. Yeah. Look, this is another 50 series. I think. Yep. It looks like it's a 4050. A front tank. Now, not, that looks a little weird, that front tank. Oh, with that loader and everything, just... That tank extension? I don't know. Man, do I like that. Ooh, wow, that is a straight pipe. Now, that would be a little loud running all day, but man. I think that would sound cool. I need a loader. I need to start getting into... I've been looking for some cattle equipment. i tell you what. Looking at Grant's tractor, I, I got a little jealous. I mean, I need to... I'm going to look in here. Wow. Ooh, they left the keys in here too? Look, right there the key is. Let's see if this thing will start. Ooh. Wow. That is a clean start up there. So we got all the remotes. I have to see if this... Uh, loader that has to be close to that tank wow you see that clearance I think I can't even put a finger in there it's like nothing it does clear it it's like made just for this loader almost that thing just barely clears that loader when it comes up I mean, I'm kind of glad it did clear it, because otherwise we'd probably have fuel all over the place, but... 
man. This... This just looks like the... The rancher's dream. Cattleman's dream tractor right here. Alright. I don't know. I just have to ask how much... I gotta, I gotta know. I mean, look at them lights on top of the cab and everything. The mirrors on the side. Man, this is, this, this is a, this is a setup. I'm gonna ask. All right, so they filled me in all the details. So this is a 1984, no, 85. Sorry, 85, John Deere 4050. So this has just over a hundred horsepower draw bar horsepower has just under a uh, hundred PTO horsepower so we could hook a baler to this really easy uh, it has plenty of power for loading so uh, it has the 5.9 liter uh, John Deere diesel in there so it's the smaller of the 50 series uh, engines in there but pff, I mean all we're going to be using it for is loading or loader tractor so I think this is going to be plenty of horsepower for us it's going to be a good chore tractor it's going to be everything uh, off the line they wanted uh, $40,000 but this thing is a few years old so it does have let's see I forgot what he told me I'm going to have to go in here and look all right, so it has 605 hours on it. It doesn't really have that many hours. So, I mean, most farmers easily put that many hours on in a year. So with the loader, everything included, all the options. So it does have a few additional options on there, like this extension tank. Uh, the last farmer put a straight piped chrome exhaust on there they put the little uh, mirrors extension on they also put extra uh, work lights and uh, on the top of the cab lights so you can really work with this thing at night which is good because a lot of times I'm in the field working late nights and it gets dark and then I realize oh you can't go to bed yet you still have to feed the cattle so I think this will be an option Man, the banker is gonna hate me. Sorry, I, I don't. I didn't tell you, but he wants. They want thirty-five thousand for this thing, which I think is pretty fair price. It's only what four years old, so. All right, man. I need to stop going into this buy this dealership. So, it's ours. Purchase it. Signed. Wrote him the check. I. Uh, agreed with the banker and everything so everything's final they did uh, agree to uh, service it before I grab it so I'm gonna let them do that they said they I should be able to grab it later on today or they'll even deliver it later on today but Grant's not the only one with a 50 series driving around here we got one too now man is that a good look tractor all right so I need to actually do what I came here for go tractor supply get me my fuel filters all right let's go drop these boxes off there all right got my oil got my fuel filters got my oil filters everything we need to go and I need to remove them guns in the way I'm like blocking my field of view all right so we're just getting in here driving into our Beautiful farmyard. Man, that was a good song right there. Alright, so I need to figure out where I'm gonna drop the oil on this old tractor. Don't really have room. I'm gonna have to move out. I don't really feel like moving out my uh, seed. Obviously, the planter is going to stay, so I think I'm just going to work on it right here. It's a fairly nice spring day out here today. A little cloudy, but I mean, why not? Let's just uh, do it right here. I mean, that way we don't have to put kitty litter out when we spill oil all over the place because we don't ever do that. Now let's get in the field. So we just have one field to disc up. 
So, man, is that disc looking good. So I'm so glad I got this disc. It just runs so smooth. It really uh, almost makes a perfect seabed for our planting. Just got one field of corn stalks to disc up. up here I'm just really amazed at how uh, quiet this old tractor is it's so responsive it's got 20 speed forward here and man you get to go and it just flies down the road This is our oaks field over here to the side that just coming up looks like. That looking good. So this, these fields over here that aren't planted yet, these are the fields that I'm renting from the retired farmer. So he has a few fields that he's allowing me to rent. So he has been on my case to get these planted. Can we get in over here? I think we can. Took that a little bit fast. All right. So these are the corn stalks we need to disc up. Get that old uh, disc running out here. Lower it down. Looks like I missed some corn stalks right there. All right, we've got go on here. Man, he really squared off his corners. I don't know how he did that. See, I mean, there's almost no way somebody does that. Now watch out for these high line poles here. Not that we're super close, but we're a little bit. Don't want to hit them because uh, that will slow down our day, that's for sure. And he looks like he got a pretty good crop in here last year. These corn stalks are really uh, thick. It's good news for us. Looks like we've got a little weed row or uh, ditch running through here. I'm not sure what this is here. What? what? Do you see that? Let me get back on the field. I thought there was something over there. I am positive. Ooh, what do we have here? These old John Deere uh, roll planters. Looks like 30 inch spacing. Pretty sure that's 30 inch spacing. Yeah. I hope it isn't 36. That's 30 inch spacing. The boxes don't seem rust. Why are these in the weed row? Man. So I'm pretty sh I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure these were made in the 60s. So so we have a a 6 row and an 8 row. What is wrong with these? Why why are these in the wee row? It doesn't I'm turning the gears here and I'm I'm not seeing anything wrong with these planters. has fertilizer dry fertilizer boxes so these uh, boxes on the rear that's where you put the, the little circular boxes you would put your seed in there and then these big boxes here you see up front they have a little corkscrew on the bottom that would be your fertilizer application 
and then your fertilizer application goes in front of the seed and then uh, the seed placement goes right behind that and then it looks like you could have some type of duster maybe lime I'm, I'm not for sure I'm not completely sure what these boxes do on the back here I'm gonna go talk to the farmer because if I could use if I could pull these out and he would give me a I mean to him I'm not sure if he even knows they're back here I mean this is barely secluded I mean look wait I can't even see my uh, Alice over there looks like this is just his old junk row but I guess he just forgot about these planters I bet you know I bet we could go to the John Deere dealership we get some bearings we get some new uh, some disc some roll compactors uh, maybe a couple new corkscrews some gears some new chains I bet we can get these running and we could be planting with them. I, I'm almost positive I can get these old things running. I'm going to talk to Farmer Bill. I'm going to ask him basically if he will sell these things because I'd be amazed if he doesn't want to sell these. Yeah. Let's go up here and see. Yeah. Man. It'd be amazing. I, that just like works out perfectly for us holy cow does he plant his corn close to his fence jeez oh weeds look how close I am to his little uh, fence over here it's pig lot or something He must be worried I'm going to tear apart his uh, fence over there. Alright, so I'm hoping he's home because I would really like to find out about them uh, planters over there. Get this first row done here. You know, Timmy's going to be out of school here pretty soon. He loves running this big beast, so I think I might allow him to uh, finish up this field and I might get to uh, put them planters together. Good news. He sold them to us. So I literally paid $2,000 for both of them planters. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to have 10 times that probably in uh, parts and everything by the time I'm done with them. But, man, if I get them two planters put together, I could either use them as backup planters or I could, you know, keep them around. I could sell my Kinsey or I could fix Kinsey, use them backup. I could just sell the planters. But I think I got one heck of a deal. Uh, man, I'm trying to think. Do I want to leave that just in the field so when Timmy gets out of school he can drive it? well he gets out of school in what one hour yeah I think I'm just gonna walk home you know I really need that loader tractor the loader tractor would be nice so I might go and pick up the loader tractor here quickly and uh, I I think it will help getting that out because it looks like them uh, planters are a little bit grown into the the weeds or the bushes around him so uh, I might have to use a loader would come in handy for getting them out of there pulling them out of there uh, you know breaking up some of them branches moving them around you know what our truck is just sitting right over here let's just go take our old uh, truck here and uh, go pick it up here quickly so we can get them planters right now I mean I mean nothing else we get to drive our uh, eagle over there to town no one coming all right 
we will pull out. It's kind of tricky pulling out over there because you can't really see over down this hill. So if somebody is really booking it up the hill, I'm not going to get that trailer out of their way soon enough. So let's try not to uh, put this tractor in the ditch. Speaking of that, after I load it, I didn't kick my tires, so I'm going to have to do that. can't believe I forgot to do that before I left, but I don't want another tractor ending up down that ditch. I don't think we're going to be lucky this second time around. Ooh, I just barely couldn't stop quick enough. Man, I almost hit somebody. All right, there's our tractor. Looks like he left it out front for us. Get that loaded up quickly and hopefully, ooh. Well, I guess I could turn around over there. All right, it looks like uh, I could have put it a little bit farther back just for proper weight distribution, but it'll be all right, I guess. Made sure I chained it up good in case we get another flat. I think we are good to go. All right. Let's try not to stay out of this ditch and that covert there. Can't see with that cab in my way. We are coming now. Go nice and slow over the train tracks. Don't want to get it. The train tracks are pretty bouncy. Still another ghost town around here. Can't believe it, but it is. I know, I just took a legal turn. I'm speeding a little bit. Better slow down. Still following us all right. Uh-oh. I think we got plenty of clearance, but that would be a bad day right there. All right, we are good to get on home. See old Timmy up there. He got off the of school, so he's running. 305 over there. Over there. Looking at too much stuff. Trying to watch Timmy. And may take that corner there. So we are just about back to our place here. Get this unloaded. I think I'm just going to drive this tractor almost right away. Right over to that... Uh, the planters try to get them out of the field. All right, uh, how am I gonna attack this here? Try to get back here and Ooh, this might be a little difficult. This is not the easiest thing to do. Let's see. Might have to put a little uh, scratches on my paint here. Just close your eyes. You don't want to look at it. Oh, all right. All right. I think we'll just try to lift this uh, planter probably straight up and uh, drop it down outside this reed row. All right. Get that. Try to, ooh, try to lift this planter up, up, up. This isn't working out too well. Got a little bit too front heavy. Up, can I get it picked up? Ooh, ooh. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got it picked up here. Now, definitely don't want to get underneath it, but we are slowly going to back it up here. All right. Finally got it out. Ooh, all right. Looks like we got that one in the clear now. I did send Timmy home over there. He looked like he was having a little bit of trouble. He uh, needed some good supper or something. I'm not for sure what he needed over there, but he, he was going a little crazy. So close your eyes. Don't want it scraping. Uh, all right. So I think I could get this. Lift this up. See if we can lift this up forward here. All right, letting that down. All right, I think we're good to kick the tires. Make sure. Let's see. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to bring the air bubble out here. Fill up a couple of these tires. Actually. I'm pretty sure I'm good to limp it home and then I can change the tubes out of all the tires once I get home. Yeah, I'm just going to limp it very slowly home. Alright, we are just backing this into our garage and we can start tearing this thing apart now. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in the 80s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.